What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm back at Copart. A lot's changed since the last video. I talked to the general manager. He talked to the uh, corporate marketing. So we finally have access to come film at, our, at the Baton Rouge Copart location. So I'm here today. We're gonna try to find some new vehicles for the build. So let's just walk around and see what we can find. All right, so what I'm looking for is a car under a thousand bucks. Run and drive, needs a little bit of work maybe some painting but i just saw this not that we're going to buy this but it's not even listed it shows no longer available for sale lamborghini huracan so it's got some pretty bad damage on this side here this is way out of our scope but it may be forgotten they may not even know it's here anymore I don't think I can go in through the other door. This is the first time I've ever even sat in a Lamborghini. I'm not even gonna try to crank it. Wouldn't even know how, I guess, right here. But it'd be crazy, wouldn't it, if they completely forgot they even had a Lamborghini on site? It's been sitting here for a long time. Got a blown airbag. All right, so let's keep moving. I just want to take a quick look sit in a Huracan for the first time ever. This is my dream car, would love to have one one day. That's gonna be a long time from now. This car has a lot of damage. All right, let's keep after what we was looking for. Something cheap, under a thousand, and not a Lambo. All right, we made it all the way to the back. That's a long walk. They told me I could bring my truck in but I kind of want to just kind of walk around the cars and all that. It's probably 500 yards deep. So let's just, now we're at the very back, so now we can kind of start walking forward, see what we find. All right, here's a good prospect. What is this, Ford Fusion? Definitely needs some paint. Looks like it was probably in the front end wreck. They changed all of that so we could actually repaint all of this. That wouldn't be a problem. No dents. A little butterfly. This might be a good little option. So let's pop the hood and take a look. All right, we got the jump pack on it. Everything under the hood looks fairly decent. I just pulled it up. It's, it has 164,000 miles on it, which is pretty high for a Ford Fusion. It has a buy it now of 1,000 bucks. So let's see if it'll even crank over. Oh, it has two sets of keys. That's rare. Nothing. So we may have a little more going on, unless I don't have a good connection. Let's try this again. It's not even trying to crank. All these are good and tight. I don't see anything obvious. Let's try again. You're not even getting a door buzzer, nothing. Yeah, so we're not getting anything. I can't test AC, nothing. So that's not good. For this price, I was hoping maybe just put a coat of paint on it. If I could get it for four or 500 bucks, paint it and then sell it for 2,500. And it has all good tires. See, I'd have to sand that down completely. Looks like they did a spray can paint job on it. All the tires are great. So they took that same red car and put a door handle here. It 
If I could get any kind of electricity to it, I would definitely consider it. I'm not getting anything. All right, I'm gonna have to pass on this. I'm looking for something super easy and quick. And one reason why, I don't have a dealer's license, so in Louisiana, I can only sell four vehicles per year. And this is almost October. So I need to sell, I sold three, and I'd like to sell one more before the end of the year. So I was trying to find a quick, fast flip. This would have been perfect if I could have just got, got it to at least crank over. So let's keep going, see what else we could find. All right, if you kind of wonder how this yard is laid out, there's rows, A, B, C, D, E. So this is H, that was G. And if you look on the fence, way in the back, there's numbers, like 20, 30, 40. So we're at 160, kind of like a map. So now we're on row F. And then if you look at the fence, it's 160. So it's kind of, few of us ever curious how that, how it lays out here. A little Mini Cooper, I don't know much about those. It's a little Chevrolet. Let's check this out. The Camrys and Corollas and Hondas, they sell overseas so easy. So I'm thinking maybe like Honduras and Guatemala, they buy them up like crazy. So this little Chevy Cruze. Let's check this out. All right, so this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze. Has, I just looked it up, has 146,000 miles, I think. And it has a buy it now of $29.95. So it should go for a lot less in the auction. And it is disgusting. No dents, needs a little paint work. All the tires are really good. And I did one, one bad thing, the damages um, prior history shows it was in two wrecks. It was actually a rental vehicle for a while. One wreck was minor and the other wreck showed severe it was hit from the back but everything's lining up it's clean title so that's good i'm gonna try to stay away from salvage titles because it scares people when you try to resell them so let's see if it'll crank well there's no keys so that's another negative so far, we're not doing too well. It would have been nice to see if it runs. And it would only be a hundred or so to get new keys, but then you're taking a risk of, does it even work? Let's pop the hood and see what it looks like. You don't even know if the engine's missing. All right, good news, we do have an engine. Everything looks good, everything's in place. That is a humongous battery. I don't think I've ever seen a car that small with a battery that big. Upgraded LED lights. So if I could get this fairly cheap, I'm not gonna pay $29.95 for it, for something I can't even crank up. Needs a really good detailing. Tyler can do that. So I'll put this on my list. Wish I could crank it up. Clean title with damage history. So it was repaired twice. But I don't see any, like all oh, the gaps are good. I don't see any issues. You just want to look where everything lines up, make sure these gaps are good. The original, the bad wreck was from the back. So I may bid on this one. I wish we could crank it, but oh well, let's just keep going. 
Tell you, I could spend an entire day just going through all these vehicles. It's, it's kind of neat to see all these and look at the different ones. And uh, auto auction rebuilds, he makes this look so easy. Finds some great vehicles and features them. It's a lot tougher than what you think. Well, here's something, let me show you this. So here's an old car. I'm not even sure what this is. Chevrolet, looks like an Impala maybe. There's no sticker on the front. Wonder how many cars get lost out here like they don't even realize they're out here. There's really no, no damage on the outside other than paint. What do you think this is, 65, 68? No stickers, nothing on the windshield. Does have a key, looks like somebody left it on. Ah, look at this. That's pretty cool. A chandelier, I've never seen that before. And they probably have no clue this vehicle's out here. It's probably been out here for years. What do you think it is? Chevrolet, it's definitely a Chevy Impala. Oh, there is a little dent right here. So that's the only exterior damage. All right, found another good prospect. Kia Forte. There's a vandalism car. So there shouldn't be any exterior damage either, other than the window they busted out to get in it. And they hot wired it. Look at all that. Which I can fix that. That's missing. There's no way we're going to be able to crank this one either. And it comes with all the keys, which is rare for Copart vehicles. Needs tires. This one's busted. No tread left. Windows are fairly cheap. See if all the tires are bad. Nope, that one's good. No dents. A little damage here. That's damaged. I can staple that and plastic weld it. That's not a big deal. Let's pop the hood. We're not gonna be able to crank this one either. So everything here looks good. Wish we can crank this one up too. Looks like it was an, a nurse owned it, RN. It's a nice little car. Let's see if we have any damage back here. So here's the plastic piece for the steering wheel. It's not too damaged, so we could reuse that. And I saw maintenance records in there, so they definitely got it maintained, oil changes. I think this may be a good prospect here. We just take a gamble if we rewire it Probably had to buy a whole new ignition. That would be a few hundred. That window is a hundred. So just say 500 to get this car back going, if nothing else is wrong, which it shouldn't be. This is just half a day's work here. 
So if we can get this cheap enough, make a few thousand on it, that'll be good. I just looked up some cave, you know, not cave, what's it called? Kelly Blue Book. And this car, I could resell it for nine, 10,000 bucks. So if I can get it cheap enough, we may just get this one. I don't know if it'd make great content, but it would give us a few more thousand bucks to play with on the channel and keep buying better and better stuff. So I wrote that number down. It actually bids in a few days. So we'll see what we can do. All right, now here's a car I could actually keep for my own. It's an Audi S5. These things are turbo, turbocharged, super nice. Let's see what year it is. It is a, maybe a 2015, does it say? There's no damage. So I wonder why it's being sold. It's missing a gas cap cover. That's kind of odd. Good tires. Quattro. Audi Quattro. There's the S5. This thing's really nice. I wonder if that's missing. A little damage on the front. So that's missing some stuff. Like it was towed, tow hook cover's missing. Let's pop the hood, maybe we can finally crank something. So it looks like the strut won't hold it up and I don't see a, like one of those little bars that you put down. So I'm not gonna be able to keep the hood up. This is all stuff that goes under the car. So apparently it hit something, must be undercarriage damage. All right, the car has 90, 90,609 miles. Looks like it's only the front bumper and a little undercarriage. So let's see if we can crank it. It has a key. I don't know if you're supposed to put it in this. There's a start engine right here. Let's try that. Right, so it's running. Turn ignition before leaving car, discharging battery. I like this car. This might be a good little car for me. Fix it up and I'll keep it for a while. Turn off engine and check coolant level. So it must, so it must have busted. Let's turn it off. I don't want to damage anything. So it must have busted the coolant line underneath when it hit whatever. See if we can see under it. I don't really see anything serious. So I think I may bet on this, not for a quick flip, but to, to keep it. S5 is supposed to be unbelievably fast. Super or turbocharged, I think, not supercharged. So that'd be a fun little car to have for three, four months, drive it around, then sell it. I don't see any dents anywhere. All the tires are good. Sounds good. Coolant shouldn't be a problem. It's just odd that it would be missing this thing right here. Why would it be missing that? It's crazy. So I think I may bid on this. I like it. All right, let's see if we can find maybe one or two more cars. So let me know if you like these style of videos. I know we've been kind of slacking on the channel because we ain't had a build and plus Tyler's back in school and doing cross country and all that stuff, so he's busy. So I was thinking, what if I did like one co-part video per week and then maybe a tool review and then we can do a 
maybe like a work on car build type video. So that would give us two or three videos a week instead of the one ever two week videos. So that'd give us a lot more content, may help the channel start growing. I know I'm not good at this yet, but if I keep doing them, I'll slowly get better. All right, here's something right here. Let's check this one out. So this is a Jaguar V12 XJS. Looks like something from the mid to late 80s. Let's see if it tells us in the door. It's an odd kind of door handle. There's nothing here. It is raggedy. I think we need a complete restoration. Good looking car though. It says that it is a flood damage vehicle. It's a good looking car. Busted tire here. All the other tires are nice. I want to see this V12 engine, see if we could pop that. I bet it pops this way instead of from the front. All right, so it looks like the hood lever is that. Check this door handle out. You don't pull, you push up. It's kind of odd. So let's, I got it popped. Oh, we, oh Lord. Looks like this was completely underwater. This is way out of my wheelhouse. That is a humongous engine though. That would take a good bit of work. It's a good body on it. So if you had one that you wanted to put an engine in, this would make a good candidate. So you could pull this up on the Copart Baton Rouge. I was told I can't show you the lot numbers and, and who's actually selling it. One of the rules, they gave me a lot of rules to follow and I'm not gonna break them, so. But just search, just search for the Jaguar at Baton Rouge. See if we can find us one more. All right, let's take a look at this 2010 Toyota Corolla. Definitely needs paint job on it. Wonder if it overheated and that's why all this paint baked off of it. 145,000 miles. Something like this, we can sand it down and repaint it. We could do that in one week. Got a little damage, missing that. See, we can make this a nice little car for somebody. It even comes with a steak knife. Carpet's pretty bad in it. It's got keys. Think it's gonna crank? Give it a shot. All right, we got the jump pack on it. I don't think it's gonna work because I don't hear any kind of alarms or anything. So wonder where, where's the water coming from? Why is that blocked off? Let's see, pretty sure it won't crank. Cause should have a door alarm going off. I don't have anything, radio, nothing. Then park. I don't get it. I may still bid on it. I can fix that. Let me see if I see anything obvious. I mean, that battery is so corroded, even here. 
I'm sure it's probably not even getting a good ground. Oil looks good. So what if it just needs a battery, good cables on it, and a paint job? That'd be, we could make some good money with that. I'm gonna add this to my list, bid on this one. Yeah, I don't see any other damage. There's a couple of little nicks. Corolla LE, that's probably the bottom model. Need some hubcaps, those are fairly cheap. Wish we could crank it, just not having good luck getting stuff to run. Get that bumper back lined up good. Yeah, I think that'll be a good little car. We can fix this one up. All right, let me know if you like this style of video and if you think that we should maybe start doing this once a week on the channel. And maybe next time I'll do a little research on different cars before I come. That way I can look a little bit more intelligent and act like I just snuck up on the car and found it and act like I know all this great information, but who knows. If you got any advice, let us have it. We still just keep trying to grow the channel and make the channel better and better. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.